Well, far too many individuals and companies who own large portions of land are failing to maintain them. A Minister of People Empowerment and Elder Affairs, Cynthia Ford, wants them to clean up their act as she says it's posing a danger to pedestrians and other road users. Sharika Griffith has those details. According to Minister Ford, legislation requires property owners to keep at least six feet of land from the roadside clear. However, she says many are not adhering to this, and as a result, already narrow roads are reduced to single lane traffic. Yes, the legislation is there, it has to be involved, because the danger of pedestrians in particular, small children, cyclists and drivers and so, they are impacted upon when these roads are narrowed to this extent, and this is not something that the Ministry of public works and maintenance can do all the time. And I, I shudder sometimes when they pass and I see the tractors and so belong to the government, the taxpayers' money, clearing large tracts of um, size of roads from persons who are conglomerates that can do it in themselves. Minister Ford was speaking to the media on the sidelines of a tour with officials from the Ministry of Transport, Works and Maintenance. Minister in the ministry, Peter Phillips, says overgrown lots are proving a challenge for the transport board. When buses have to travel on these roads where they're not cleared properly, they, they receive damage and obviously even if damage damage to their to their to their the um, the, the the what we call the wave view mirrors and so on and buses cannot operate to the roof and things like that and they cannot operate like that. So we've had we would have had to pull buses off the road in some instances which which impacts the traveling public. Meanwhile Transport Works and Maintenance Minister Dr. William Dugid says several St Thomas roads have been identified for remedial works, including the one leading to Mount Hillaby. It is a significant uh, tourist attraction as being the highest point in Barbados and we need to have that road done. It's a one kilometre road, we've measured it already and we look to put that in our estimates uh, for the following uh, financial year. In addition we went to Erie Court and saw that they need significant amounts of, uh, of work for weeding and clearing the, the sides of the roads. Uh, also all, so, many, so many roads uh, in Bridgefield and so on we didn't get to but we have that put forward to be completed as well. But we obviously saw the issues that we're having here at Vaucluse and as it relates to drainage and of us a special project we put together so we can meet um, fix the area and the problem while he's unable to give a start date the minister says government is seeking to have as many roads as possible completed before the end of this financial year Sharika Griffith CBC News Government is working to ensure the safety of the road infrastructure in St. Lucie following recent heavy rains. Work is ongoing in a number of areas across the northern parish two weeks after those heavy downpours. Teams have been assessing roads and bridges. Over at Derms Road, the Deputy Chief Technical Officer in the Ministry of Transport, Works and Maintenance, Philip Tudor, says crews are working to ensure that road is sound. Now, road repairs are estimated to last about four months. Go with the gave me a retaining structure because it allows the water to penetrate through the, um, the retaining wall rather than going with a reinforced concrete retaining wall. So you see the guys here putting the mats, building uh, the reinforced concrete, uh, sorry, building the gave me a retaining structure. And assessment work was also conducted on the Pie Corner Bridge. This bridge was overtopped primarily because we have a 30 foot wide channel flowing into eight foot wide opening and you would imagine like if you had a, a funnel the more water you try to put in the funnel it can zoom back up a flow over the funnel because the nozzle of the funnel is too small so what we are attempting to do here is to build a wider and a deeper bridge that would take all the water that's flowing down through this water course and going out and um, going north um, in this area Barbados representative in the Miss Universe pageant is ready to take on the world as she prepares for the prestigious beauty show next month in Atlanta. Chanel Eiffel was crowned Miss Universe Barbados in September. For her, it has been a learning experience. I didn't know what to expect because I said this is my first pageant, mm -hmm. but it's nothing like I expected for sure. Mm -hmm. It's really like introspective. I've always said it was very introspective for me and it was not always about the crown. It was more about you know, myself and learning myself. Ms. Eiffel shared information on her platform which she intends to raise on the world stage. The Miss Universe organization itself with like cleft palate and reconstruction of like your smile. But for me personally, it would definitely be scoliosis. I'm given the opportunity to work on that platform.
Here is that tip from Cooperators General Insurance. This tip of the day is brought to you by Cooperators General Insurance Company Limited. Insurance the way you want it to be. You can't tell by looking if someone's blood sugar is high or low. You'll need to take a finger prick of blood and measure with a blood glucose meter so that you can take appropriate action. This step is brought to you in association with the Diabetes Association of Barbados. Let's protect our families.